You know what makes me sad to see about this? Is that he did this on his own. He wrapped himself up in a blanket. Thinking about all of his little cold nights and, and tough times out there where he didn't have a blanket, yet he knew how to do this. Oh, sweetie, are you stuck now? How do you feel about this, huh? Let's see if, if mom can work it. Just a little bit, just a little bit more. Oh boy, we're getting closer. We're closer, you like that? I think that he's excited about my little jingle bell. I thought it would be annoying to him and maybe later it will be. Let's see here. Oh boy, this is perfect. Oh, you look handsome, Billy Bob. Guess who's getting the haircut? Don't look so sad, sweetie. He's doing really good. You're being Not a good okay. boy. rescues have needed tons of care and we're very happy to do that um, but I do feel like I've spent a lot of time at Big Ticket Veterinary Clinic lately and uh, it's okay it's gonna be fine it's gonna be fine so I'm headed from Longhorn Lester's to I'm a Survivor I have to make a pit stop at Tractor Supply and I know that y'all probably been dying to go back in Tractor Supply like me you love it so much so I thought I would take you with me because I want to get him a few things. Everything that we have so far has been for big dogs. He is our first little tiny dog rescue. So Billy Bob's gonna get a new collar today. Uh, I am probably gonna get a little crate to put him in so that way he feels safe and secure while he's in the truck. He, um, he rode in the trap the last time. Um, and then hopefully we either get help shaving him at the vet or we do it we find a we find a groomer I know there's a whole lot of hopefully's and maybes and what's it's and everything else in this video so far and I'm a rambling fool but I'm driving and that makes me bored and I have to talk to you <laughs> it's not our sing we're both but for now tractor supply is first stop I'm probably gonna pick up some lunch too I'm a little hungry Lester's probably starving if I'm hungry um, so we'll get that going and then we do not have to be at the vet until 3.30 this afternoon. So we'll get to spend a little snuggle time with our little Billy Bob before we go and earn some more trust. That's what we gotta do. I have made it to Tractor Supply. I have made it past the plants outside. I've even been able to bypass the chicks that are chirping like crazy in the background. And here we are in this side. Okay, this little guy is actually tinier than the puppies when they left. And I'm almost wondering if a cat collar is a better scenario for him because all of these look giant. Like, even this little extra small thing right here is big. Do they make cat collars still? Is that still a thing? because all of these feel giant, like really giant. All right, let's go find the cat aisle. Wait a minute. Oh, we have like <laughs> three options for going red with a jingle bell. Maybe I'll clip that jingle bell off. Seriously, that's how small he is. And it's thinner. It won't be so heavy and itchy on his neck. Okay, next up a crate. See here. I don't shop the dog section very much. I don't need a wire crate like oh carrier. That's what I need up there. Don't look, don't look, don't look, don't look, don't look, don't look, don't look. Okay. I think this is plenty big right here. Look who's coming out to greet me. Hi, sweet girl. 
Have you met Billy Bob this morning? Yes. Wonder what he's doing. Oh, Billy Bob. Hi, buddy. You ready to go see Dr. Cochran today? Oh, wait, you're gonna see Dr. Priestley today. That plan changed a little bit. Dr. Cochran got called to a farm call this afternoon. Somebody needed her emergently. So Billy Bob, hi, sweetheart. He looks so worn out, yet comfy. He looks comfy. Billy Bob is gonna go see Dr. Priestley and team this afternoon. Oh, he's so sleepy, huh? You're a sleepy boy? So what I'm gonna do is get the kennel that I just bought, bring it in here. I'll put that blanket in the bottom. The pine shavings, as I see this, were probably not a smart move considering all of his matting and fur. They're probably gonna be buried inside of that. That probably, oh. A haircut's going to do him some great justice. But he's been eating. That's good news. You've been eating, baby? He's like, eat? I like eat. I know, sweetie. I'm not going to taunt you with going in there yet. I'm going to get everything set up, okay? I'll be right back, and we're going to go see Dr. Priestley. Okay, we have our red collar with a jingle bell. Yeah, it belongs to a cat, okay? And our brand new fancy carrying crate. Trixie, you do not fit, baby. You will not fit. I'm so sorry. Oh, let's hope that Billy Bob is in a gentle mood today. He's such a smart guy that I know that he's going to freak out about going in here. And I feel like I might have to wrap him up like a burrito in his little blanket. Let's see. Oh, speaking of being wrapped up in a blanket, did you see this? Can you please call him Billy Bob? No, it's Billy. I can say my else. He just can't. All right. He really is. He wrapped himself up in his own blanket. This is so cute. All right, Billy. You know what makes me sad to see about this? Is that he did this on his own. He wrapped himself up in a blanket. Thinking about all of his little cold nights and... and tough times out there where he didn't have a blanket yet he knew how to do this oh sweetie are you stuck now <laughs> it's okay i know there's lots of noises out here and now you got dang pine shavings all in your hair how do you feel about a collar huh let's see here how do you feel about this huh let's see if, if mom can work it it's a little bit just a little bit more. Oh boy, we're getting closer. We're closer, you like that? I think that he's excited about my little jingle bell. I thought it would be annoying to him. And maybe later it will be. Let's see here. Oh boy, this is perfect. Oh, you look handsome, Billy Bob. You look so special. You look so good, baby. Let me get that pine shaving out of your face. Yeah. Oh, that looks better. That looks so much better. You wanna go for a ride? Oh, sweetie. I know you're scared. He's like, this is my bed. This reminds me of Christmas and how she didn't want to leave her bed. Do you know Christmas from the neighborhood? I can't wait to scan him. I can't wait to see uh, how good he's gonna look after we get him trimmed up. Your eye looks better today. It does, it looks much better. Oh, sweetie. You know, we had to bring Christmas to the vet in her bed. She would not leave her little Betty by. And I have a feeling that this guy would probably be okay with the same exact way. <sighs> He's kind of whiny today. Maybe he just doesn't feel good. That could be. 
But he's he's craving my touch. Oh, Billy Bob. You hear all those loud geese? Dad's feeding the geese. I just want to cut some of these off so badly. <clears throat> I just don't want him to freak out about shears or anything. And I know that the vets will have ways that we can do it. Are you talking to me? Yeah? What are you going to say? Oh no. You hear the rain? Does the rain scare you? A little bit? That's okay. I'm right here. Oh, you got an itchy? We'll get those itchies off of you today, okay? You're gonna see Dr. Priestley today. She's really nice. Dr. Cochran couldn't be there because she has an emergency farm call, but you'll hear lots about her too. Okay? I know, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be so good to get you back to health. We're gonna find out so much about you today. Yeah, I'm so happy you're here, sweetie. <laughs> he literally has a mustache, y'all see it? Y'all see his little handlebar mustache? <laughs> Look at, <laughs> hold on. Oh, sweetie, I'm not teasing you. I love you. Y'all see it, right? Just making sure. Okay, Mr. Billy Bob, do you want to try the crate or you want to ride on my lap? Do you think you can be good like that? Maybe? Okay, we're going to try it out, okay? He actually came out and wanted more love, so I just put the blanket around him and picked him up. And here we are. No fear, right, buddy? No fears at all. You ready? We're here, and Lester got fancy today for us. Took off his boots and his Crocs. Yet. Oh. Now for a little class. Oh, look at and look who you're with my college That's good. shirt. Yeah, little. Yeah, I told Jamie that uh, this is my new style. No more Crocs. I'm gonna wear tennis shoes. I have to have cargo shorts with dangly things, but the college shirt makes it just enough to where I still can present myself. Classing it up. Yeah, and not be embarrassed. Not who I. Come on, Billy. Come on. Not that classy yet, Jan. Here, Bill. I'll take that leash. Call him the way I see him. This is Billy. Oh, my Billy Bob. Little Billy. Here we go. Look in here. Hi, sweetie. Hi, hey, Billy. Waiting for a room, Mama. We gotta wait for a room. It's a busy day. He's scared. I don't know. He feels better now that I'm loving him, though. That's good. He likes his blankie. Remember how Christmas loved her bed? Mm-hmm. I feel like he is very similar with his uh, Maggie blanket there. You gonna come out to Daddy and I'll hold you in my lap? You gonna come out? Come on. Come here. Come on out to Daddy and I'll hold you. Come on. Come on. Come on. Out to Daddy. Come on out to Daddy. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Come on, come out to daddy. Oh boy, come on. He's so nervous. It's, it it smells like a bunch of animals in here. It does smell like come animals. On, buddy. Come on, buddy. He just eyeballed the door. Oh no. <laughs> come on out to daddy, Billy. Back up a little bit further away from me. Come on, Billy. Come on, Billy. Come on, Billy. It's okay, sweetie. I hope you feel safe inside there. Yeah. That's a safety spot. Hi, sweetie. There he comes. Oh, he wanted to come out to Mama. Let me move out of the way. Come here, baby. Sweetie. You can pick him up and walk up to the scales a little bit, then have to do it. Okay. We might not want to leave his blanket. Come here, sweetie. Let's stretch out. <laughs> um, 
just slowly put my hands under him and try to get underneath him a little bit. You gotta leave your blankie. Okay. I think those extra wood chips might weigh some oh. extra. <laughs> This is a first. Dad carry. I've never had him before. Aww. He looked contented like that to bite me. He looks very content. Very calm with his cat collar. Scales. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Thirteen point six. Okay. Oh wow. Big boy. He's 13.6. That's crazy. <laughs> what? So he's got a pretty good wound right here underneath his skin. And I did notice that under his behind, maybe it's a testicle. Um, it looks very inflamed. So we'll learn more about everything as we get in here, but he's kind of a mess. <laughs> so Astrid is here. I think that's the scanner. It is. And uh, the more and more that Lester's been holding him right here, the more wounds that we've found that we didn't know about. We haven't been able to truly get our hands all over him. Very jumpy. Yep, yep. Find anything. I gotta scan all over. Okay. Yeah, did they move? Because they're just under the skin. Oh. Or did it just. Beep. Sometimes it just beeps because I move my. Oh, I found something, but it's on you. <laughs> <laughs> I've been chipped. That's great. And his name is Billy Bob, but we're calling him Billy. <laughs> Billy Bob. Billy. 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 That's cute. All right. And today we're uh, just getting him checked pretty much. Yep. What are you measuring right there? Inspirations. Oh, you're watching his breasts. Today is a mess. Thank you. So, we are waiting for Dr. Priestley. All of his vitals look pretty good. We found some extra wounds on him that we didn't know about. And he does have a mass inside, like, in his scrotum area. I know. I don't want to talk about it either, but we got to talk about it to make sure it's not. Because if it's... Let's this real quickly. It's okay. <laughs> if it's his testicle, then there's one testicle, and that's probably a problem. And if it's not, then I don't... More to come on that. But uh, we definitely need some flea meds. We probably need a steroid to get over some of this skin funk. We need a bath. We need a bath so bad. But we are considering shaving him all the way down first. Getting his nails trimmed. Getting him vaccinated. Yeah, we got a lot going on. But we're here. And that's a step. Guess who's getting the haircut? Don't look so sad, sweetie. He's doing really good. You're being Not a good okay. boy. Oh, you're gonna look like a new man when you're done. Mm -hmm. Oh my I goodness. Know. That's a whole extra dog. Mm -hmm. Oh, and we're uncovering all kinds of things. It's okay, baby. It's okay. Normally, I get stuck doing all of like the things where all of these dogs don't like me afterwards because they think I'm the one performing the torture, but this time, the bad girls are doing it. Pretty stoked. Bob. Billy Bob. Mr. Billy Bob has some conjunctivitis in this eye. This eye's a little bit redder than the other one. So we're gonna put some eye stain in there to Good see if boy. he has a scratch. Oh, that's pretty neat. So, Hi, Bob. what we're gonna do is turn the light out and then turn a black light on. Holy fancy. And then you can see how it glows. Okay. In the syringe. Oh, and I see it glowing on his eye from here. <laughs> and if he has an actual ulcer on the eye, it will glow. Now there's a little bit of a sheen to it, but that's yeah. because we need to rinse it out a little bit and then there's check some it again. Right Very cool. I've never seen a, a glow test done. 
So is this like the stuff that comes in glow bracelets? Because that's what it looks like. <laughs> um, no ulcer, just a little bit of eyes. So we'll get a little bit of some back clothes next. Just okay. a little funk in his eyes. So just more medication. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> just one more. Well, Billy Bob's haircut has made him a changed man. <laughs> he's freezing. He literally has lost his sweatpants and now he's not happy about it. I love you. I too, I love you so much. <laughs> so we have a double ear infection. We have some skin infection. We have hookworms and we're hookworm positive. So we got a lot going on here, Bubba. But all things considered, he's still not in as bad a shape as Stella was. We are gonna get all the meds and get him started on heartworm treatment too. Tis the season. And um, we're gonna get you back in shape, buddy. It's gonna be okay. One hour ago. I'm not gonna love him.